Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Real Farm Crisis here on Bad Farm. Hope you're all doing very, very well indeed. A little few days away again from me. Unfortunately, we had a heat wave here in Canada, which meant being anywhere near my computer was disastrously warm. Anyhow, I digress. Today, we are looking into restoring some of our fields that are well overdue uh, so we can begin to think about planning for next year's crops because we are in august unfortunately the seasons mode hasn't kicked in yet so i think we're gonna have to roll this with one day seasons and see how we go uh what i'd love to do is get those fields ready so we can those that are going to be uh, plowed over and have a new crop drilled can be and those that are uh, staying as they are can regrow again so that's going to be the plan what that means then is to start with at least we're going to jump on the into our lovely Manitou. And we need to go and fill up, first of all, the... Uh, we have the fertilizer spreader is on the case. Uh, so we need to go fill up because it's not going to take us too long to cover those fields at all. Uh, but it'll be good just to get it done. Uh, so we'll get those uh, fertilizer spread on those. And then we will look to uh, move on with a little bit of field restoration. The fields that we build with hay have all been cleared. And the hay is all stacked up nicely. We're actually just going to stick this over here, I think uh bring this on into here and just drop this fork over here there's all our bells of hay so far at least i think i'm gonna get at least two more fields done but there's a lot there i'll keep us going for a little while there even though we do have a larger number of sheep uh which is good speaking of which they'll probably need feeding again soon but yeah happy with that if we get like another 30 40 bales good start good starting point but for right now let's get ourselves on in and uh, we will see how we get going so yeah like i say first plan here is to get the fertilizer out uh, we have some fertilizer left over here in the sheds from when we took over this place which is good because that would be expensive otherwise and we don't really have money to burn you'll see our money went down again with the repayment of the loan uh, which is as expected there but that's fine There we go. Let's just get those as wide as possible there. And that means that we're going to have to be yeah, a little bit more careful. That's fine. We can do that. It shouldn't be a problem for us. And uh, yeah, let's just take these two on the end. There's nothing else down at the moment for us to uh, to cut or to worry about there. So we can just get these bags shoved onto the new ground. Uh, there we go. Maybe a bit less. Uh, and then that will hopefully allow us to get, like I say, a good last crop in. That is the plan. Um, and then whatever we don't need, we can possibly, hopefully, look to sell somewhere, maybe. Possibly, hopefully, maybe. We'll see. Uh, so, away we go. We've got our silage bales all up here, so all the fields have been cleared, which is good. But we really, like I say, do still need to think about what our cropping is going to be like. I haven't even touched that so far. The fields are all overgrown and with weeds. The one thing I have thought about when I was carting bales back in uh, off camera is i have a plan for uh one of the fields and it's going to be to re return it back to grass and i will show you why in a moment here once we get going uh first things first let's just stick a little bit of go go granules onto uh onto this field so we'll just stick these first two bags in see if we need any more after that well we'll probably get another one in i'd say but I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm not sure what we're going to be like with weight to start with here. Uh, because, yeah, we are going up and down a few hills. So we'll probably just leave it like that for now, I reckon. Uh, and then we'll just sneak our way back out in the case we go. And we'll get this first job done and dusted. Perfect. Yeah, now we can really start to get a little bit more work and get the yield increase on these fields as well because well they're not great at the moment they could really be improved a little bit there so hopefully this will do just the job uh and we're gonna go backwards here yeah. i'm happy with all the bills that we've got cut off so far at least and all those silage bills there will uh, get a little bit of much needed revenue coming in during the winter months uh, and hopefully the sheep will start to produce by that point as well. Ah, you see, I think we'll run into a problem here. I seem to be a little bit, uh, a little bit off kilter. Which is far from ideal. That's not enough weight. Okay. Don't know if the John Deere would be any better at this stage.
I mean, technically, I can maybe roll with that. It's a bit low, but until we get a bit of this weight kicked out, that might do it. Flash might have to. Yeah, feels like this field in front of us here. We need to get that one ready to go with a crop. That will be drilled uh, with a winter crop. Uh, we'll have a few more grass fields to cut down. And I think I've got, if I look at the, the map here, uh, field 49, 8, and 29 will remain as they are. Field 51 is going to go into grass, um, and which means I might put another field into uh, cereal crops somewhere as well, because I have a quite a lot of grass fields. But what I'm thinking is, because... Uh, I don't want to go through this one. No, that one, we, that one's probably doing okay. In fact, yeah, let's put a little bit on here because last time we're in here, we just mowed off all of the, uh, thistles and the weeds that were in here. So that's a good bit. A bit late in the day, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we get going. Seemingly have not uh, done the yield map on this field as well, which is a little bit less ideal. Yeah, that field there needs to be tamed. We want to get the plow into there, we want to get it turned over, and we want to get it drilled. So we need to get a bit of a hurry on with that. And we'll actually go straight down through this field as well uh, to put onto the hay ground. There's a deer here, get away. Oh, no, still, still not enough. Forgot about that bump there. There's an almighty, really almighty ridge in the field. All right, anyway, we'll just stick one down the middle here as well, because I really want to save what we've got here for the bigger fields that need it more. Um, so, yeah, the field straight in front of us. We are going to plow that one over and put it into grass, because ultimately these fields that we're in now and the fields that we build are going to be built again coming up in the next year. So I don't want us to put any kind of uh, cereal crop into here. And then have it come through somehow and like destroy or damage a bit of it because we need to come through and cart bales. Uh, you can see where the weeds have been flattened out here already. Don't want that to happen on a large scale. That wouldn't really make too much sense to me. So we'll want to try and avoid that. Uh, but yeah, we've got the one uh, and then the two smaller fields on this side as well. Good, good hay fields. Good sizes. Uh, so yeah, definitely look to keep hold of those. And then they've all been tested as well, which is why you'll see lots of red here at the moment so let's get that taken care of where we can and uh get a bit of the good stuff spread on here probably wouldn't put it on so liberally if it wasn't already here with us in our um stock that's why we can kind of go for it a bit more here but it's good just to get onto the ground anyway and then yeah hopefully uh come september we'll be able to get another late cut of hay off here weather permitting and we'll see I don't know. I'm, I'm in two minds at the moment if I should try and change the seasons to bring it back to the initial three days as planned or if I'll just keep it on a slower time and do as much as I can. That would, in theory, get me the same result. It's not quite as practical, of course, but it would work. I mean, it's not making a drastic change, but it's improving it a little bit. It's into orange rather than uh, bright, bright red, I suppose. Uh, it's probably going to take a second application to get any chance, but I don't know if we can afford to do that. So we'll see how we get on. Maybe it's a project for over the winter uh, to get some lime onto here or to get some uh, compost on or something. Because, yeah, as it is right now, it's probably not going to tick all the boxes. And then, yeah, all of the fields around us here uh, that are arable, we will be... Those that are going back in, we'll probably go into a barley just to start our cycle off with. Uh, that way we can uh, get some good straw off it as well and sell that straw around. Uh, and we'll see where we're looking at from there. That's the current plan. Those plans are always subject to a little bit of change, but I think that's what we'll do. Nothing with too crazy costs originally, but just get some uh, some cash flow going through the through the farm. Because ultimately, at the moment, that's all the important uh, situation. Now, back around here, I think this spreader has a ridiculous spread rate on it. Let me know what else you think you would do as well. Just to try and bring in a little bit of diversity into the farm here. What, what um, approach would you take? I'm all ears. Would love to hear and see what we can do. Maybe we can get some of them implemented as well. Bear in mind, we are only, what, three months in, I think, at this point? Three, maybe four. That make more, might make more sense. But really not much. All right, and then we should be pretty much all done with this pass. Look at that. Wild. A 
sufficient spread in and then we'll just go into one of the small paddocks on the other side of the uh the bridge there and the wall that should be just good to go all right so that's first field done and dust. So i got about seven percent left in the hopper so we'll just go for a quick blast uh through here uh and then we'll take it way back i think what we'll do as well is bring the john deere over at the same time so we can just get it going with the hide work on there uh and we'll see what that looks like see if it does a good enough job at all there you go yeah i do like the train on this map as well i think this is really nice just to be on and, and keep smashing along with something a little bit different i'll have to bail hey there you sir will be picked up shortly that's a mistake oh so what we'll do i have a plan all right and so we have got everything set up with the fertilizers all right so plan is in place john deere is now working we're going to go and check in on it uh, as we get over there but we're going to bring the, the fertilizer to the spinner so we can bring that back to that rogue bale as well uh, so all of our machines will be in one field uh, looks like the John Deere is a going now, which would be nice. Get that field back down to like a mulch state. Uh, and then, oh lordy, I'm thinking I don't have any of this equipment. So um, rather than have to lease everything, I'm just going to try and get us a nice a direct drill uh, that we can use just to get everything in when we're all ready to. Something that's going to have to be relatively small, of course, that one of my two tractors can power. That makes a lot more sense than time consuming cultivation work at this stage in the project. And then we'll see where we go from there. Uh, so that should be pretty easy. Just want to get these weeds tamed first. Give me the big thing. Ah, perfect. You can see he's, he's ticking along there and nicely. Making it look a lot better. Actually being mulched down there. Look at that. Wonderful stuff. And then he'll be away. Happy days. Uh, we will just get... We're not even going to take it. We'll put one bag in for now. See how we get on, and then we can go from there. Once we're finished, maybe we'll just top it up a little bit. All right, excellent stuff. This field has got minuscule amount left to it, so we'll just get that all knocked out nice and quickly. The so one bag we can do without any uh, front end balance issues so that's good to know all right and then this will be the last one so it's really nice and straightforward today we're just getting the fields going again we need to start to make them work for us a little bit more uh, and this is the perfect way in which to do it for our own situation let me know what you think we should do for our approach to drilling should we go ahead and plow the fields and of course reset them there with a the plow and make them uh, get a little bit more of a bonus there from a yield perspective uh, to, to really kick this thing off uh, but of course that will take extra time uh, money as well uh, so something to consider or do we just go direct drill to start with uh, get a crop in and then see what we're looking like at the end of the year um, when we maybe should have a little bit more money to play with of what one would hope uh, and we can really begin to, uh, to turn things around a little bit there so let me know what you think uh, unfortunately there is I, I've had a quick look as we get up this hill we'll have another quick peek as well go bit of a grind up the hill there uh there is next to nothing that would be of interest for us uh in the sales so quite disappointing i don't really need a um 12 meter grass harrow but we'll have to just do without anything from that but we will keep an eye on it. not that we can really afford too much at the moment anyway uh but we can always keep an eye on things there um hopefully the one thing i do need to look into which i've realized is a water bowser for the sheep because they do not have any means of getting water for those pastures that need it so something that we need to consider so i will think about trying to acquire one of those and find something of a with a relatively good price point and then we will see what we can do make it attainable uh but yeah ultimately we're just the, the main first cut has been done i'm probably going to try and get two more fields of hay knocked down and we'll uh, try and get that done day i would hope uh, and then we'll leave ourselves in a bit better position with plenty and maybe plenty left over as well uh, because that is always the plan but let me know what you think let me know what you think of the progress so far and what you would do uh, differently or how you would add to this because i'm all ears but until next time 
I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, as always. And of course, if you have enjoyed watching this so far, please do consider giving the thumbs up button the big like, and then subscribe for more as well. Uh, we should be returning with content from my foreign life this weekend as well, because the temperature's dropping, and I can actually sit in my office without a con, uh, without any aircon, uh, and actually record. So that's all gonna be good. So hopefully we'll see you over the weekend and some updates. Hopefully next week for Farmer Phil's map too. Well, until then, do stay safe. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.